quadratics now. Now in the textbook we talk about plotting a lot. We're going to plot one and then we're not going to plot ever again. Is that clear? Yes. Why? Because we need to first see what the points look like, what kind of graph we're going to get. After that we'll use our logic and we can sketch all the graphs and I'll teach you what to do. Okay? So the topic is sketching but we start with plotting. So what is plotting? Do you remember what we did with linear graphs? We had a table of values. Remember that? So basically, I've given you a relationship, y equals x squared. If it was a linear relationship, you know it's going to be a straight line, right? So you just needed two points to plot and you ruled a line through it. Is that right? Yes. But is this a linear relationship? No. How do we know that? Cast down, please. How do you know that it's not a linear relationship? Yep, there's an x squared term, yes? So can I just find the two points and plot a straight line through it? No. Do we know what the shape is like? No. Okay, some of you do, some of, I know, some of you don't. So we are going to plot again to see what the shape is. But after that, we know what the shape is going to be, we're going to just find the important points. Make sense? Okay, plotting. So can I just choose some values of y, uh, x, sorry? Yeah. So choose some negative values, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1 and 2. And you can go on. Happy with that? Then I'm going to find the values of y for, for these. So if x is negative 3, what's negative 3 squared? Negative 9. It's negative 3 squared. So it's negative 3 nine. times negative nine. 3. Nine. 9. So what will be negative 2 squared? 4. What will be negative 1 squared? Nine. What will be 0 squared? Nine. What will be 1 squared? Nine. What's 2 squared? 4. Right? So we've got enough points. Let's plot them. Again, these markings should be evenly spaced. I can do my, I'm just trying to do the best without a ruler. Now, when x is 0, what's y? 0? Yes? yes? When x is 1, what's y? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. So when x is one, y is one. Yes? When x is negative one, isn't y one there as well? So we're getting symmetrical points? Yes? When x is two, what's y? Four. So two comma four. When x is negative two, what's y? Four. When x is three, what's y? When x is 3, it will be 3, so it is 9. When x is negative 3, what's y? 9. Are we getting a straight line? No. no. Are we getting a straight, a straight line? No. Okay, so if I join these points, this is something I get. And that is what a quadratic graph looks like. What is it called? A parabola. A parabola. So this is the shape, we call it a parabola. Okay, and it'll keep going. 4 squared, 16. Negative 4 squared, 16. So it, it's symmetrical. Can you see it has an axis of symmetry? Yes. yes. What's the most important point? Like an, a line had an x-intercept and a y-intercept. What's, so it can have a, does it have an x-intercept? Yes. What's the x-intercept? Zero. What's the y-intercept? Zero. What is another important point? What's happening at that point? The the curve. Curve. The curve. Oh, the, the what happens? Turning, turning point. Can you see the graph changes direction at this point? Yes. Left of it, it's coming down. Negative gradient, falling line, falling graph. And to the right of it, it's going up, positive gradient. So this point is called the turning point. Are we clear on that? Yes. Yes. So from now until the rest of your life, these are the points you must label on the graph for any parabola that you draw. X-intercepts, if it has any, as coordinates. Don't just write zero. Zero comma zero in this case. Then you label Y-intercepts, intercept, if it's different to the X, and then the turning point. Is that clear? Now, in this case, is the turning point the minimum point on the graph or the highest point on the graph? Yes. Minimum. 
But there will be parabolas when we learn about more of them. There will be upside down parabolas as well. So in that case, the turning point will be the maximum. So what's the turning point here? 0, 0. And the graph, does it just end, end here or it keeps going? So we put the arrows. So we'll not plot again. From now on, we'll use our technology to see what happens when we do different things to the equation. And we'll only sketch because we now know the basic shape. Is that clear? Will we plot again? No. So what does a quadratic graph look like? This. What is it called? Parabola. What are the important points we must label as coordinates? X-intercepts, Y-intercepts and turning point. And then we also label is the turning point minimum or a maximum. So in this parabola, what's the, what are the X-intercepts? Zero. It's just one X-intercept. What's the Y-intercept in this parabola? Zero. No. Coordinates. Even if I say what's the x-intercept, you must say the coordinate to get marks. What is the x-intercept? Zero, zero, zero. zero comma zero. What's the y-intercept? What's the turning point? Now, is this a minimum or a maximum turning point? Is this the lowest point on the graph, the turning point, or the highest point on the graph? Let's go back. So. You'll be asked to write x-intercepts, y-intercepts, x-intercepts, y-intercept, turning point. In this case, they're all the same. You'll also be asked if the turning point is the minimum or maximum. So in this graph, is 0, 0 the lowest point on the graph? Which is zero, minimum. Zero. <laughs> minimum or a maximum? That's what the question is asking. Minimum or a maximum? Minimum. Good. Now. Of axis of symmetry. Now, can you see the graph has symmetry to it? That it can be divided into two equal halves? Yes? So you have to write the equation of the line that's actually the middle line. Okay? So is y axis the axis of symmetry in this case? Yes. We all agree with that? So axis of symmetry is the y axis. However, that's not the perfect answer. They want you to write the equation of that straight line. So you've done linear equations. What is the equation of a straight line, which is the y-axis? So what's, what's this coordinate? 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, so on. If I'm writing coordinates in the y-axis. So what is common? Can x be anything? Yes. Now, can y be anything? No. Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, can y be anything? Yes. What is x equal to on y-axis? Zero. 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 So equation for y-axis is x equal to zero. Because y can be anything, but x has to be equal to zero. zero. So what is the axis of symmetry then? x equals zero. So you won't get marks for y-axis. You'll have to write the equation of the axis of symmetry. So sit properly, please. Question. There's a question. The y-axis No. Don't need. No need. That's just for understanding. Can anyone guess the equation for the x-axis? Can we? Y equals zero. So if I write the coordinates here, 1 comma 0, 2 comma 0, 3 comma 0. So if I am to write the equation for x-axis, can x be anything? Yes. For y is equal to? Zero. zero. So y equals zero is the equation for the x-axis. X equals zero is the equation for y-axis. Yes? What if it's not on axis? Yep, we'll talk about those later. So today we're just dealing y equals x squared, the basic problem, the simplest one. We'll study it first and then you can sketch any other parabola that I throw at you or life throws at you and you'll be able to catch it and answer all these questions. Does that make sense? So what are the important points? X intercept, y intercept, turning point, axis of symmetry. We must label them as? Coordinates. Coordinates. Does the question have to specify, label them as coordinates? No. You won't get marks. I will not pay you marks if you do not label them as coordinates. Is that clear? Great. Do you have any other questions about the basic problem? So all we've learned today is uh, plot the basic problem. We've plotted it and that's it. We're not doing a plot again. All the others, we'll use our CAS. We'll see what happens when we add or subtract or multiply numbers and we'll just sketch for next lesson. Make sense?
Any other questions? Perfect. Get on with it. And I'll start editing all that out.